Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokan Joe. You're pretty cool for being here. Thanks for stopping by. We have a haul video for you today. And I'm going to be honest with you, bro, if there's two comic books that I have here that if you do not have, bro, do you even collect? Like, do, do you even collect? I gotta ask. We're gonna find out. But first, let's talk about what I got from my comic book shop. The very first one is Border Town number two. This is actually turning into a pretty cool story. I'm kind of digging it. So uh, definitely want to keep getting that until it gets all weird, which I suspect it will. Next is <laughs> uh, Motor Inc. Uh, ver or the United States versus Motor Inc. Um, read the first one. Okay, I get it. Female assassin. Bad story. All right, now let's actually see what she can do. I'm kind of hoping that that's the next goal um, in this story. And honestly, if it's not, I'm going to drop it. The art's okay in it, um, but uh, the story's pretty typical. It's basically the professional from the 90s. That's pretty much what you got. Uh, Sleepwalker, this is where the... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yes. Infinity War Sleepwalker, I'm sorry. Uh, Gamora collapsed the universe on each other and mixes up a bunch of superpowers. I'm kind of curious where Sleepwalker is. I don't think Sleepwalker ever really got much love as a comic book character. It's actually kind of a cool concept. Um, if you haven't read Sleepwalker before, definitely pick this up. Even though it's not going to be the Sleepwalker, it's going to be collapsed into something else. But it's still a pretty cool character. They had a lot of adventures with Spider-Man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, next, we got the Magic Order number, yeah, number four. Uh, this is the C variant. Um, I really like this variant. It's really sharp looking. Um, also, the story has just been awesome. I've been totally wrapped up in this story. Um, if you don't know, it's been explained to me as, you know, Harry Potter uh, for adults. I, I think it's better than that. Like, just, that's just a whole horrible analogy for it it's been a great story i highly recommend it now my favorite comic coming out is cosmic ghost rider number four this is the c variant i'm going to be honest with you i've been really digging this story but when i saw this cover and i was actually able to get on it I actually had to put it on a wait list um and when it became free yeah i snagged it up that is just an awesome cover right there you definitely and if you're not reading this i don't know what you're reading like i i don't know it's got everything you could possibly want in it. Uh, definitely check that out. Now, blast from the past. We got the Long Ranger, number one. They've redone this. I got this variant, and I have another variant coming soon of this particular issue right here. Uh, I've, I, when I was a kid, I liked the Long Ranger, and I liked Zorro and all those kind of things. You know, that we would play that out in the yard at different ages, and then we'd throw MacGyver in there just to be weird. <laughs> we're just weird kids. Uh, really like this artwork so far. I can't wait to get into it and read it. Next is probably the most beautiful cover that I have out of all this haul right now. Um, and, of course, this comes from the comic book that costs the least. And that's Spawn number 290. And there's your C variant, folks. I'm telling you right now, the green clashing with a little bit of red in the background with the black highlights and the white. That is just a beautiful cover right there. And it's a good story. So you can't forget that, right? I, I like a lot of the art, but there should be mentioned that this is a good story as well. Next, speak same thing for Zero. They came, they relaunched it. There's Zero number one. Um, I don't particularly like the artwork on here, but it just was a one in twenty five variant. So I went ahead and picked it up for its rarity. Um, I'm gonna read it. We're gonna see what happens. It better be better than the cover, otherwise I'm not even gonna bother flipping it. I'm just gonna torch it and set it on fire and like my grill with it. <laughs> All right, next is Guardians of the Galaxy, or as Guardians of the Galaxy. Gamora is up to some shenanigans, and she's all pissed off at her sister again, and she's going to go take care of business. But can the Asgards of the Guardians stop them? Asgards of the Galaxy stop them. I'm really tongue-tied today, but you know what I'm talking about because you're smarter than me. All right, let's see what's going to happen here in this story and see how this pushes forward. I think it's going to be quite interesting. Next, my wife is a huge Dark Crystal fan, Labyrinth fan, um, and, and things along those nature. And she saw this cover, and she's been collecting these covers in this story as well. And this is Beneath the Dark Crystal. I got to admit, I, I kind of like the Da Vinci style uh, artwork going on here. I think it's very cool, very radical. Um, and, but this was for my wife, so I don't want to lie. Uh, <laughs> she has good taste. What can I say in the classics? 
Uh, next I got strictly for artwork. Well, no, this is not artwork. I apologize. This is a series that I've been reading that I've been begging that it picks up and just does something. Like, just, just something. Please do something. And that is Batman. This is number 56. This is your F variant. Or no, not F variant. This is your B variant. Um, again, I like the red striking, the blue to play on black. Um, it's been good artwork on the covers, but just garbage story. Like, I'm not getting it. This is going to end up getting dumped soon. Depending, I'm going to read this one. This is the last chance. If something amazing does not come out of this one, I'm done. Like, I, I just can't deal with it anymore. Sorry. I'm tired of wasting more money on it. All right, next is Weapon H. I've been loving this story as well as some of the artwork. And, of course, I got my man thing <laughs> cover. I don't know why. Every time I say man thing, it just makes me laugh a little on the inside. All right, beautiful cover. Um, I've been digging the story. If you haven't been reading it, get caught up and definitely read it. Now, we're going to talk about the two that you need to get in your collection as soon as possible. Especially if you believe the same thing that I believe in, that your habit should pay for itself. Uh, I have I have pretty good faith on these two. I suggest you get them. The first one is uh, Justice League Odysseus, uh, the black and white variant. Um, and so why should be the question, right? So this is number one C. Why should you get this? Uh, one, because C was a little bit more rare than the other ones. And two, we got to launch of a new story here, which means they got to add a new villain, as far as I'm concerned. You can't keep telling the same story over and over again. And under the Odysseus, they got to bring something new in. So we'll see where that goes. Second one, even if you disagree with me on that one, you have to get this one. Heroes in Crisis. Of course, I went with the C variant on this one as well. Uh, that's pretty cool variant looking. Um, definitely a pickup to put into your collection. Even if, again, even if you don't like the story, even if you hate the artwork, but you know some people that will buy comic books that are into this as well, I would definitely get this and hold on to it for a little bit. See where it goes. I think you'll be surprised. Uh, latest news. Saw Venom the other night. New quick movie review for that. Um, I don't know what the hell all these critics are talking about. It was not that bad of a movie. It was a little slow in the beginning, and I understand why it was slow in the beginning, and so should you. Not everybody out there that goes to the movies knows the story of Venom, so they have to recreate Venom from the beginning. And that can be kind of slow, because you got to basically tear apart Eddie Brock in this story, right? And bring him down to his lowest level. And then, but I'm telling you, once the symbiote is in him and things start happening, it was just action-packed, a lot of humor. Marvel did not let down. Like, I'm sorry. And, of course, at the end, we get um, the classic villain, Carnage. We find out who that is. We even get a female Venom for just a few minutes in the movie. And I'm telling you, it was smoking hot, son. So <laughs> Definitely. Definitely get to that movie, fall asleep for the first 30 minutes, wake yourself back up, and get into that movie. It is not a bad movie. Um, last but not least, local news here in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia. Uh, we have a Comic-Con coming up. I know me and Spectacular Spider Grandpa talked about going to it. Uh, that will probably more likely happen. Um, unless you're a My Little Pony fan, I highly suggest you do not get the VIP pass, because getting into it early is not going to make any difference. And that's the exclusive. A bag and a My Little Pony exclusive uh, comic book. Look, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Like, I don't, I, I personally could care less about My Little Pony. But maybe that's your thing. I don't know. Now, um, the Hampton Coliseum's in Hampton, and it's the Hampton Roads uh, Comic Con. I just wanted to say Hampton three times in a row. I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, definitely some things to do around there, too. So if the community comes out let us know down below or let spectacular spider grandpa know and we'll see what we can do about hooking up maybe doing something there like we did in baltimore that was a blast i'm telling you right now it's all the stuff off camera that we really had fun with like it was just uh, it was like hanging out with old friends it was really great so if you get that opportunity definitely come on out uh i got nothing else you all stay cool out there and i'll talk to you soon enough because i have some more hauls coming in early bye